Hi everyone, okay, so this is my first tutorial, so forgive me if I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to show you how to make a safe hut for your parrot to live in, or play in, or sleep in, or whatever he does in it. Um, I have bought a happy hut. Luigi chewed the happy hut, as he does almost everything he gets hold of, and it nearly killed him. Happy huts are made with thread. When a parrot chews this, it becomes thread-based, so you just get those long strips of thread. I've heard horror stories, I've read horror stories. People have had their parrots strangled, they've had the feet caught where the foot has had to be removed. And I know I've written to the company, and I know several other people who have written to the company, they don't seem to care, they're still making it out of the same fabric, when all they need to do is change the fabric to a non-threadbare fleece just as cozy, just as fluffy, and just as soft. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the stages of how I did this. Really simple, really easy, and I found for the size of Luigi and the amount of fabric I could purchase, I was making him 12 huts to the price I paid for one in a shop. So bear with me, I'm just gonna get my stuff together and then I'll start showing you what I did. Okay, so I'm back quickly. What I'm going to show you is what you need. Really simple. You need some fleece fabric. As much as you want, because you can just continue reusing it every time you need a new hut. Pins, and the two hooks to hook your happy hut up. Or if you prefer to use string, use string. Luigi eats through it, but I can show you how to make it with string as well. You also need the little piece that goes inside the happy hut. Okay, the piece of plastic that goes inside the happy hut for Luigi, who is a Quaker parrot, is that size. Very small, see against my hand, pretty small. And you'll see how it works out when I start showing you how it's made. I quite simply got this, it's flexy, but solid enough to bounce back. So it's like a nice, spongy, strong plastic. I got mine from a file, just a, literally a paper file. The stuff that it's made from, that plastic, is good enough. Just make sure it's strong enough to hold your parrot and it's thick enough. But not too thick that it'll bend, because you do need to bend when making it. You'll also need a good pair of scissors and a sewing machine, unless you want to stitch it all by hand. Much easier with a sewing machine. Hi guys, I'm back again. So. Uh, as I said before, the reason I do my own is because Luigi eats these purchase bought ones, as you can see here. That's what he'll do. To the previous one I made, which would have been held together there and have the base there. So, yep, eating through that, fleece becomes clumpy. It does not become threadbare, which means it will just chew off a little ball and he'll drop it. Now, as I said, when you buy your fleece, I purchased my fleece on eBay. Uh, it cost me seven pounds for one meter fifty by two meters. With Luigi's size, I only need fifty centimeters square. I get twelve out of it. Uh, seven pounds ninety nine. They cost in a shop. I'm getting twelve for the same price as one. You can get many different colors. Luigi hates most colors. He prefers the green. It's soft. It's cuddly. Anyone who's ever worn fleece, you'll know what I'm talking about. Please bear in mind though, there are thread, bo uh, thread bound fleeces. The fleece you need to get is non-threadbare. When you are purchasing this from eBay, please make sure you ask them before getting it, is this threadbare or does it clump? They'll be able to tell you easily, when they cut it, there should be no thread peeling off. Purchase the colour you want, get it home, and this is where the fun begins. Right, so quite simply, as I said, I've not done tutorials before, and I'm sorry, I've not got anyone to hold a camera for me, so you're going to have to bear with me. I cut a piece 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres. That will make a little hut just the right size for something like a Quaker, a Conure, cockatiels, even budgies. I mean, I suppose you could go a little smaller with budgies. Like I said, you need that piece of plastic. Once you finish stitching, That'll go inside before you completely stitch the top piece. So now it all kind of comes together. 
So quite simply, I've now cut my 50 centimeter piece, fold it in half, and stitch it down one side. Please note that this stitching will not be left on the edge because if your parrot starts choosing, chewing through it, there will be thread. Again, defeats the object of getting a non-threadbare item if you're going to have thread in it that a parrot can get to. That stitching will be, once stitched, I don't know if you can see where I've stitched it, over there, once stitched will be turned inside out and put along the center. Can you see? That's where the stitching is, along the center, which once the fleece is made, the hut is made, will go along the outside like that, and it'll go there. A parrot usually doesn't chew, I do say usually, I can't guarantee that, but usually doesn't chew along the center of something. What it'll do is start at this end, and before he reaches the middle, you will be replacing it. As per Luigi's, down there. See, he didn't quite get to the center stitch line. I take it down and I'm now replacing it. I've decided to make six today and save six for when I start running out, then I know to order some more fabric. So one of these will usually last him quite some time, but it depends how much your parrot chews. So let's go for it. We've stitched down the one side, we folded it in half, sorry, and stitched down the one side. We flipped it inside out so the stitch is on the inside. And then what we do is you get your piece of plastic, solid plastic, and that then tucks down the inside. Right to the center, which will then give you your solid base for your bird to walk on. Just make sure you do get it in the center. Of course, that'll be 25 centimeters long because once you've stitched your fabric in half, you get 25 centimeters. Okay, and uh, you will then stitch a line down either side of that. And that is to prevent this, and that is to prevent it from becoming baggy inside and kind of holds everything in place. So it can't move around, it won't give him something to be curious about. So I'm going to do that quickly and I'll get back to you in a second. Right, I'm back after stitching it. As you can see, it's more stable, stays where it should do. Stitching is hidden because it's fleece, so it really doesn't matter what color you use. I've actually used white and you can't see it. Or I hope you can't, but it doesn't matter. I mean, don't think Luigi cares either way. So now we're going to create, and if you recall, that stitching is going to be on the outside so what we need is our little hooks or if you want to use string to go on it but we're not stitching it this way because then he has access to the stitching so we need to turn it inside out which again is why we use this flexi soft stuff so we can flip it in and out so you turn it inside out okay you take your piece of string if you're going to use string and you put it upside down in there so the underside of the string is there and we're going to stitch it in so when you turn it around you will have your let me show you actually so once we've turned it back inside out what you will have is a stitched top with your loop see does that make sense okay great for any of you who are keen sewers you'll think I'm teaching you to suck eggs so I'm going to use the metal hooks and I'm going to use it with a loop on the bottom which will go on the inside. He won't see that because of the amount of hem on it. So, that's how mine will go. Okay, now I'm going to put one either side and just stitch along the top holding it all in place. Right, so I've pinned it as you can see, those are dangling on the inside and that's where I need to stitch along. So once I've finished stitching it, I will come back and show you. I've put the dangly bits, the little hooks, probably about an inch in. Uh, then I can stitch right up to the edge. 
and he won't start nibbling along. And once he does start nibbling again, you remove it or you can replace it with a new one. Okay, back in a sec, just going to stitch it. Just a quick tip, if you are using the metal ones, go over it really, really slowly and gently with your sewing machine. You could end up snapping your needle. I found that out the hard way. Okay, I'm back, I'm stitched, and I'm ready to show you what to do next. Really simple, flip it inside out. Again, glad we have the nice soft squidgy bottom for this, because if it was hard, there's no ways we would turn it inside out again. As you can see, nice solid base down there for Luigi to stand on and walk in. Two little hooks at the top. Again, if you are using metal hooks, stainless steel, folks, stainless steel. If you are using the um, string or, or, or rope or whatever it is that your birds like to eat, use the sizal rope, the ones that are nice and pure for birdies to eat. So that would go there instead. That will then go in his cage and he'll have a nice new hut to run around in and I guess chew till the next one I can put in. I hope that helped some of you who were always asking me how do I do it, how do I do it, how did you do that, my birds, not safe, etc. There you go, simple and easy. And in total that probably took me 20 minutes to cut and stitch. And to do 12 if you're doing them in bulk, cut your 50, you, you, your 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter pieces all at once. Do them one after the other, I guess a couple of hours you'll have 12 of these, store them away when you need a new one, out it comes, in it goes. Happy parrot. Okay, any questions, ask, I'll try and help you. Hope that was a great help to you and uh, like I said, first tutorial, so if it's a bit all over the place and juggly and I didn't have someone to hold the camera, so have fun, bye. Just one more thing, just remember every time you reuse a happy heart, that plastic bit at the bottom, reuse, it doesn't get destroyed. Also, any if you're using the metal bits at the top, reuse those, save yourself pennies. You can reuse things. Any old toys you're throwing away, if they're bits you can reuse, keep hold of them. They will cost money. Happy Parrot with his nice new hut.